Hey bestie! Welcome to my channel, so thank you guys so much for being here, I appreciate it. If you guys want to choose one of these three piles, make sure that you're choosing with your intuition and not choosing with your two physical eyes, otherwise the pile, not, the, the pile you choose may not be the pile that's actually for you. Okay, so I'll see you in the pile selection. Bye! Hi bestie! Hi pile number one! So you guys chose the animal tarot deck. Let's just get into your message. Uh, I already am getting like powerful vibes from you guys, like from the jump. Like confidence. Not really. Let's see, let's see before I keep talking, but this could be your alter ego. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, we have the dragon card that wants to come out from the jump. I feel like whoever this is, you guys have gone through a great transformation. Definitely a lot of fire sign energy, but you don't have to be. But I feel like you guys have gone through a great transformation. You guys are leaders. Like, you're meant to be a leader. Whether you're aware of it or not, you probably, if you're in, if you, well, everyone has gone to school. So in school, or if you're in school now, there's like people, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like you might have people that want to be around you really bad, or you just might be really popular, I feel. But you have like strong morals. You have a really strong sense of self. Like, no one can come in, like, and just, like, you're not going to be like, oh, okay, well, maybe. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, you're the type of person that's like, if you feel that way, my bad, sorry. Sucks to be you, but I said what I said. It's like, you know that, I mean, I don't like to glamorize her, but you know that one lady who's always on TikTok and she's like, you're fucking stupid. Okay. Yeah. Her. But that's kind of you guys. Like, you kind of have her energy, of course not comparing you to her if you know you know you might not know who she is it's fine <laughs> lizard is coming out so i definitely feel like some people might think you're low-key cold or like cold-hearted but i don't really think that's what that is i do think you guys really like to be alone but you're like popular loners like people might try to be around you really bad i guess we'll get one more card so, yeah, just really powerful energy. You might be strong, too. You could have played sports. Not that that matters, but just trying to get a better picture of you. It's not for all of you, because some of you are, are like, no, I've never played sports. But <laughs> I'm just feeling like overall, it's like there's you just are a force. Like, sorry for the burp, but you know if, like... If someone were to like run like full-fledged toward a buffalo and like try to knock it over they wouldn't be able to and that's just kind of how I feel like it's like when it comes to your opinions and your beliefs it's like there could be a lot of people saying like like really trying to talk crazy to you or trying to get you to view life a certain way or whatever the case is but you're just gonna stand there <laughs> you definitely like stand your ground in a lot of situations so yeah peace I feel like you are a really cool person and like unless someone tries you there really shouldn't be any problems like unless people are coming in with this weird type of energy there really won't be problems like I don't feel like this is the group that's like gonna start shit or maybe in the past you could have like antagonized people or in the past you could have been like instigator you could have been an instigator but I kind of don't feel like this is where you are now I get this vibe where it's like you're very, really peaceful and like a lot of people don't expect that from you. Like a lot of people have this fucked up perception of you or at least they just judge you based off your appearance a lot of the time. <laughs> I do believe you guys have a really loving soul. Like you really see people but like not in the ways in which other people do. Like the way you see people is very... I don't know, you really can see through people, and you're also like a mediator, like, I don't really want to say you're a mediator because you're not like the type of person, but like, I don't know, you, you are able to like, handle conflict with other people. Like if your friends are arguing, it's like you're the type of person to just like, calm the entire situation down. Some people think you're cold, but I feel like once people get to know you, you're not cold. And there's like times where, you know, the side of you, this really empathetic side of you is possibly nine times out of ten something that like you keep to yourself. But some people get that side of you and the people, it's like when regular people 
or people you don't really fuck with, when they get to see that side of you, they're kind of just like, wow, this person's like that? Like, I don't know how to fully explain that. Oh, I have two. You see clearly clairvoyance. Yeah, that's what I was saying. A lot of you guys really can see through people, whether you're aware of it or not. Some people definitely know this. You're the type of person, you're like, I don't know, like, I get really funny vibes from you. Like, if it's like you're the type of person's like I, I if you know you know like for example if like someone's being petty or whatever or they're like talking shit like you would look at them e even if they're not talking shit about you like you would just look at them and like make eye contact like I know what you're doing like that's the type of vibe that you have like you just be like I know what you're doing <laughs> like you have strong intuition for sure but I also feel like people are intimidated by you because you see through so much bullshit. Like, but this is why people want to be around you so bad. Like, this sounds weird, but it's like, there's been times where, like, you could have cussed someone out or called someone out on their shit, and then for some reason, it's like they're following you or they want to apologize or they want to make amends, and it's like, you just have this energy where it's like, leave me the fuck alone, but everyone wants to be around you. And I don't think all of you really want to be alone, but, like, there are times where, like, you like to be by yourself, but people are always, like, gravitating towards you. I think a lot of people ask you for guidance, too. This card came out last time. I tried to um, pull cards for this pile before, and I was like, I'm going to reshuffle. And the same card came out. So yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of people... There's a lot of dragon energy here. And just like a lot of wings too. Like I feel like you guys could... You could be. This might not be your situation because I don't think this is the case for all of you. But a lot of you guys definitely like created something for yourself. It's like spreading wings and like flying like i'm just seeing a lot of like flying so i feel like you guys yeah especially with the spider too it's like weaving a web like whatever life you have it's definitely something that you created i'm also hearing Nicki minaj it's something you created it's never ever too late it's ne i'm sorry that song i was playing it this morning and now it's stuck in my head but yeah you guys are also really mysterious though it's like yeah you might be around people and you might be pretty popular and you might talk to people every day but people you're like you know when to not say things like other people they might which is me like this is me like i'm the type of person that like i will word vomit and then accidentally tell you my entire life story and things that i should have never told anyone just because i'm in that moment but you're the type of person to be like calm and just like peep like you would just peep me talking too much or like feeling maybe anxious like you'd be able to identify that but you're not the type that's going to be like yeah well this is what happened to me and maybe if you felt comfortable with my energy you might but i just feel like you just know when to not say things or you just have a like really cool vibe and like really collected and you're like you have a strong sense of self so yeah, I feel like you're just the type of person, like, if someone's being weird or whatever, like, you would just stand there with, like, a straight face, like, poker face, like, just really just looking, looking them up and down and just, like, seeing through them. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like a lot of your friends, people that get close to you, they feel like you're, they feel like you're their, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, maybe their therapy friend, but, like, I don't know, you give, like, mom vibes, even if you're not a mom. Like, you give mom vibes to your friends. You could be a mom as well, but, like, yeah. And then I'm also seeing Aquarius come out, but the swan. Like, I don't know why swans give me, like, mom energy for some reason. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. But they give me mom vibes. Aquariuses are also the humanitarians of the zodiac. And so I'm feeling like, well, I should have said Aquarian, right? I don't know. But I'm feeling like there's this energy where you're just like, you're like, I don't know, you would buy your friends food or whatever. Of course, like, don't get too crazy. Let's not never have any money or anything like that. Again, with wings, though, too. 
yeah you guys are really hard workers so you could have honestly created something for yourself when it comes to like finances when it comes to your future this could be all you're doing or you're just a heart like you just know how to plan things for yourself plan things out and get out of possibly uncomfortable situations in life I feel like there's people that literally there some people are waiting for your ass to fail and it's like you just you're never it's like I don't know if you've ever seen this meme this lady's like I will never fall you'll never make me fall that's your you guys' vibe like people literally it's like I'm never gonna fall even if like you may have like you take you might take a small L like you're not the type of person with a victim mindset that's gonna be like oh my life's not gonna you're like okay well how can I how can I come up what can I do next you're like, yeah, bitch, you might have seen me fall, but I'm, 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 I'm here and I'm coming to step on everyone's neck, especially the people that did you wrong. Like, you guys definitely are like a force to be reckoned with. Like, that's how a lot of people would see you. That's, they would like that. I feel like a lot of you guys, ha they would like that. I don't know. <laughs> people like the fact that you are a force to be reckoned with, though. Like, it's just like, you seem like a really overall authentic person like a very authentic person a very thorough person it's like you're 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 brutally honest too like you're not going to be like yeah I i'll lie to you to spare your feelings which can be me at times i sugarcoat things but i feel like this energy is like really like straight to the point you're going to be like bestie your makeup your eyebrows like i'm not going to lie to you your eyebrow is on your forehead you know, you're able to tell your friends the truth. I feel like um, there's definitely a lot of people who appreciate that. But also, you're not one to just talk to. Like, there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do in my life. Like, I, I I plan to do this, and I plan to have this business, and I plan to start this, and da-da-da. You're not that type of person. Like, people come to you and they're like, what are you doing? Or, what are your plans? And you're like, well, I'm already doing this. And I already started this up. And I already have this together. And da-da-da. Like, you, you're not, like, one to just sit here and, like, procrastinate. It's like, no. But I do feel like it might be... Some people might view this as manic or whatever. Like, some people might feel like, this person just goes from this to this to this. But I feel like you just get these bursts of energy or these boosts, I don't know, you get bursts of energy where it's like, I can go like this, and I can start this, and I can do this, and it actually works for you too, like, there's people, that, and I think it really works for you because you live in your own world, and you do your own fucking thing, and if people, like, you don't really share your business, and that's why people can't project this negativity onto you. So yeah, King of Pentacles is coming out. You guys definitely are just very into, like people, pe you might even feed into this like dumb archetype or you might feed into this like ditzy type of vibe. Like, oh yeah, I'm so, I'm so silly. Da, da. But you know that you're like <laughs> way smarter than this. Like you, like you might literally play into this like bimbo archetype for some of you, definitely not for all of you, but some of you guys do that. Um... And you just have, like, this overall, like, possibly, for some of you, like, this goofy exterior. Of course, it's, like, you're not one to be fucked with and it's obvious. But, like, it's, like, this goo- I don't know how to explain it. This goofy exterior, but also, like, this- This, um- <laughs> I'm sorry I'm wording this so weird. This goofy exterior, but also this, like- Well, I want to talk about the goofy exterior. Which is why my brain just started melting. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, there's also just this hidden aspect to you that most people don't see. You're a hard worker. This is like someone who's like pretending to be a comedian. Or no, someone who is a comedian. But they have like a whole business plan behind this. And they're just like, yeah, I'm a comedian. But like, I have to make sure that my assets are in order. And da, da, da. Like, you have all of this. You have like duality to you, pretty much. I do see that you can be impulsive you can be really fun um you definitely can't like if someone tries you or if like something crazy happens you can i don't know like i feel like this is like a version of you that you've hidden away like 
like you're you're not usually like aggressive or like confrontation well you're definitely gonna confront issues when they arise but you're not like crazy with it like this that could have been you in the past you could have been really like kind of aggressive or kind of just like I don't know like impulsive but like confrontational like I don't know how to really explain it but I feel like I feel like that version of you can come out and you might really like to keep it hidden at times to be honest with you um but yeah I think people do like this about you people it's something that like friends especially like they want to be around this because it's just like this person isn't they're not gonna kiss my ass two cards came out and I only want one but they're like they're not gonna kiss my ass they're gonna be honest with me they're gonna stand up for me they're gonna stand up for themselves and yeah a lot of people think you're impulsive some of you guys might be impulsive but there's like a there's a strategy behind this or maybe it's just like this silly character that you have or maybe you are just an impulsive like crazy person but it works for you like it works for you you have plans maybe other people aren't all up in your business so they think that you're just like impulsive and all over the place but i think once it's time to like play which sounds so embarrassing like play what are we talking about but once it's time for like play and like leisure time i guess you're really fun you're like the life of the party vibes like i do feel like this is the group and this might be past energy but like if you were to get drunk you're like screaming at the top of your lungs you're like on the top of the bar like you pretty much own like i feel like even like like once you there's not like something to do like okay like if you're not going for anything professional you just have like this loud energy possibly this might not be for all of you but i think for some of you like you have this either either you are loud or your energy just is like immediately seen but yeah there's this really like loud energy to you when you come into a room and it's like Nicki Minaj the quote like I am the star in any room that I stand in you know like you know that you're the standout yeah I feel like you guys have a strong sense of self like you're very rooted within yourself and it's like if someone tries to come for that or like like if someone tries to fuck with your sense of self or tries to even insult it it's like like you can't that's the main thing that you don't like is someone trying to like insult your character or someone trying to tell you who who it is that you are or even tell you what to think or tell you what to do like you're your own person some of you guys might have started like your own business or like you just aren't the type of person that's comfortable with being told what to do and this is why it's like you can't do this like you can't be <laughs> You can't be um, in those types of rooms where it's like people are, there's like this authority, you know? Like you like it where people are equals. Like you don't want, you don't even, some of you guys don't even want to be the boss of other people. Like you're like, let me do my thing, you do your thing. Like, just leave me alone. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, so last card that came out is guidance ease and comfort i definitely feel like you have this really strong comforting energy that a lot of people really value really appreciate um yeah like a lot of your a lot of the people that get close to you there's a lot of people that want to be close to you like overall this is like the ideal friend like if someone were to try to manifest like a friend it would pot it would most likely be you because it's not like you have any negative vibes or like you don't have negative vibes you're not like on this underlying like oh i low-key hate you like if you don't like someone you don't fucking like them and you make that really clear <laughs> which we need more people like this in the world you know we really do we need more people but anyway, it's like, you don't have that type of vibe where it's like, oh, I'm going to be around you for what I can get, whatever the case is. There's definitely a lot of depth to you, whether people are aware of it or not. And what else? What else? I feel like um, you're really intellectual, really witty too you have like this really youthful energy like there it's like maybe when you're by yourself this is when you're like 
it's all about business or when it's time to work it's like that is just your energy like it's all about work there mo there's multiple sides to you for sure but then it's like once you're by yourself it's all about or not even see i just got my, my train of thought but once you're with other people or it's time for fun it's like there's this really youthful vibe to you that's like super energetic super fun super witty super like bruh like i don't know like i just see you being like real like you're just really fun like that's the best way i can explain it and a lot of people really enjoy you you're also really attractive too but i don't think that's the main like thing to you you know like maybe that's the thing that people attract like that's why people are attracted to you but the reason why people stay around you is because like all of these other aspects to you like you're just this really bright energy and you make friends possibly wherever you go like friends with old ladies friends with like tr trump supporters not really but <laughs> some of you guys could honestly get along with them you just have like this understanding of people and people just want to be cool with you but you just have this really cool spirit um, i'm also feeling like with this energy this swan energy you guys definitely are like unique in the ways in which you possibly dress and like the way you style yourself that's possibly not for all of you because i'm not seeing that heavy in this spread but for those of you that are into like fashion or that value like the way that you dress or whatever this is definitely something that people see is like you have like this unique style it might be some people might feel like your style is like all over the place or like you just have like this teenager style or aesthetic like i don't know how to really explain that but it's like wearing a whole bunch of colors a whole bunch of accessories that's for some of you definitely not for all of you I think there's definitely some of you guys who have like a minimalist vibe too, but it's definitely stylish. That's for, there's that, this is for multiple people, y'all, so keep that in mind. But still, you guys definitely, there's just this type of like, if you do have a style, it fits in a category. Like, and it fits that category perfectly. I'm seeing like two types of styles. One where it's like really sleek and like minimalist and like white outfits and black outfits with like Prada shades or something not really Prada shades but just that bait like the basics but like in a really classy way and then someone another vibe where it's like hippie hippie style and there's like you might wear dreads you might have like a whole bunch of like crystals on your arm you know those are those two vibes that I'm getting so yeah, I think a lot of people value the fact that you have a lot of faith and just you really believe in yourself and you believe in like, th like you're just a trendsetter in a way, like a trendsetter or just like unique, like you, whatever thing you're doing when it comes to your career or whatever, you definitely either want a leadership role and you believe that it's possible or you know, you just yeah you have a lot of faith that it's possible that you have a lot of faith that you can be a leader you have a lot of faith in whatever ways in which you're leading and it's just a really admirable and this is why a lot of your friends or people that are around you they just look up to you and they might ask you a lot of questions because there's people that just want your guidance and it's like you're not you're not afraid to stand alone you're not afraid of like there's a possibility that some of you guys that's a possibility that you can fail but that's not anything you're thinking of like, that's not anything you're like, oh, I'm going to fail. You're just like, how can I win? Like, that's not something that's on your mind. And yeah, you just have a lot of, like, endurance. And you're just, like, very... T you, there's a lot of tunnel vision. So even if you play into this, like, archetype of being, like, a goofy, silly person or whatever, like, you're doing that, but there's a, there's a plan behind it. Like, there's a message. There's a reason why you're acting like that. So that's the main thing that I'm getting. Um yes i hope th well i yeah there's guidance here again too this card is saying oh is my camera like messed up but this card is saying guidance i wonder what's wrong with my what's wrong with it but this card's saying guidance are you gonna focus whatever <laughs> yeah so you guys have yeah you just give a lot of guidance to people there's a lot of ease here you're not judgmental when people ask you for your advice you're gonna be honest as shit and sometimes you might be funny but you're 
it's not like a judgmental thing. It's like people feel comfortable enough to share secrets with you and to do certain things because you have this really chill vibe. And yeah, after people talk to you, after people are around you, they feel good. They feel motivated. They feel like they just had a really good weekend. Like you just make people feel like like if, like just they can breathe after hanging out with you or something like I don't know how to explain that but I've had that experience with people too so I hope that this resonates though actually I'm gonna keep these here so I can make the TikTok video for y'all but if you come here from TikTok comments like a lizard or like a dragon or like a snake or something like that um and yeah thank you guys for watching until the end i appreciate you bye yo welcome what's up pile number two oh, you guys chose my primrose and prose oracle deck which is so cute it's actually one of my favorite decks and i hardly touch it because it's just so beautiful <laughs> anyway so let's see what do people like about you this is gonna be so fun maybe i should do what don't people like about you pretty soon Sorry that that music was a little bit loud. The music will just randomly get super freaking loud and it just irks the shiz out of me. Anyway, so we're going to start out with the animal oracle deck. As you can see, I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling snake card. So you guys are obviously snake ass. No, I'm kidding. It was Joe. Okay, so snake... I feel like you guys, some of you guys might seem secretive. Some people might think you're sneaky. I feel like people project onto you, honestly. But we're going to see what they like about you still. I wish I, never mind. <laughs> so let's get another card. Hawk is coming out. So it's like, it's not this bad sneaky energy from you. It's this like, I don't even want to call it sneaky. I just want to call it mysterious, but also kind of sexy. Like, you know, like you guys have like this very like smooth, like way about moving. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Sorry if this music is getting loud. I'm going to watch this back. And if it's too loud to hear, I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay. So you have like it's so funny because it's like you're the type of girl like you probably look really attractive you probably post some you know some cute pictures but when guys actually and this is just an example you could be any gender like anything but anyway when people really get to know you it's like you're just this goofy ass person and you just have like this funny ass vibe but there is definitely like duality to you because i'm also feeling like you definitely you know, some people, like, they take this kindness and, like, I don't want to call it naivety, but they take this energy from you and they misinterpret it. And they think that they can just, like, fuck you over. Or they can just be passive-aggressive or low-key hate on you. But it's like, you're not dumb. You're just nice. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not dumb, bestie. I'm just nice. So, yeah, but I do think you guys are really attractive. Like, there's definitely, like... If I were to have to describe a celebrity with this energy, it would be Zoe Kravitz. I can't pronounce her last name. But the new Catwoman. You know, that's you guys. Like, definitely really cute vibes. Uh, confidence. Yeah, you know that you're that girl, that guy, that they, them. No, let me stop. You know that you're it, though. Like, you know that you look good. Like, bitch, who can tell you otherwise? No one. Let's get some more cards. People do like this about you. I definitely feel like this is where this, like, kind of dark, like, sexy kind of energy comes from. But I think people like the fact that you have definitely gone through things. And this might not be for all of you, but I feel like you've gone through things. But you really don't have, like, a victim mindset. You really, like, bounce back from a lot of shit. And it's like, despite whatever you've gone through, it's like you're gonna remain that bitch sorry please keep in mind you could be that dude i just don't know how to compliment men like what am i supposed to say you're a boss that just sounds so embarrassing you know like ugh. but you know we're getting we're getting somewhere let's keep going let's keep going oh you guys are like I don't know I'm seeing like a picture of who this is but you guys have really sweet vibes like some people might think that you're just like this stand-up kind of beach or whatever some of you guys for the cosplayers because I feel like there might be a cosplayer somebody who's watching this 
um you might be a sexy cosplayer but i do think you guys still like never mind anyway but yeah some of you guys are like this definitely like you have like a nice face or like a conventionally attractive face or like a face that most people would just feel belongs on like a basic person not really like you don't have a basic face but they're ex like they're expecting you to fit into this like conventionally attractive category which i think you do fit in but you guys do weird things <laughs> Like, this isn't for all of you, but some of you guys are, like, cosplayers or shit, you know? Like, you look really good, and, like, people expect you to be, like, super normal, but I think you have, like, this really kind of, like, weird but fun vibe to you. It's not too weird to where, like, you don't fit in with society or whatever, but, you know, you definitely might be into some taboo things, and it's, like, people really don't expect this from you. Some people just expect this surface-level shit from you, or, you know, they just expect you to be a conformist or just something but you're not you're you and you and your uniqueness and all of that is first of all definitely valued and seen you guys people see you wherever you go either because some of you guys might just be hella eccentric and when you go out you're going out but some of you guys might wear whatever the hell you want to fucking wear but this is also why some people look at you and they, they peep you and they're just like oh i see this person looking like this and looking like that but some of you guys you're just fucking hot you know what i mean like let, let me know you know all of you guys are fucking hot but there's some of you that like when you're walking it's like damn can i get to know you you might have people fucking beeping their horns at you like i know that sounds like in like i'm being dramatic but that's a real fucking thing people are weird as shit that's a, a real thing so the veil hmm nah i feel like you see through a lot of shit People try to wear, like, a mask around you. But I think, like, you do... Okay, for some of you guys... You guys... Some of you guys might be naive at times. You know, you might be really just, like, chill and just, like, super cutesy. And, like, some of you guys are, like... Like, I'm getting, like, this is not for all of you. So don't take offense. But, like, Bella Porsche vibes. Or not even her, but... What's the other girl that was selling her bath water? I kind of get those vibes from you guys, but... It's also like this, like, don't take offense, this dumb blonde, but some of you guys do that on purpose. Some of you guys, you really aren't like that. But regardless, I think some of you guys have this really innocent kind of trusting vibe at times. And of course, it can easily, that can easily change though. Like some people don't think that that can change for you. Like some people think like, oh, this person's just super naive and like cute. But little do they know, there's more to you. And it might just be an act. Some of you guys might just act like that. But yeah, I do get a lot of sexual vibes from you, which some people might not expect. Some of you guys might be a freak. A freak, but you might be, like, undercover with it. Um, and I feel like if there's anyone close to you that has experienced that, you know, they love, they kind of like this. You know? Um, wait, did I already pull these cards? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to get my other cards. I kind of forget what order I went in. But, yeah. There's, like, so... There's a lot to you, like... And it's just, like, you're not, like... You possibly go through a lot of transformations. I do get Scorpio energy from some of you guys. Also, Cancerian or, like, Pisces for sure. Pisces... Well, yeah, a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water this spread. But, yeah, like, I definitely feel that... Well, yeah, definitely this reflection, too. But I feel like there's so many sides to you. Like, when fir people first get to know you, they're like, oh, they're just so sweet. And then when they really get to know you, like, especially people that you're dating, they're like, oh, this person's like this. And then it's like even your friends, like, you might have this, like, like, you can be mean at times. And people really don't think that you can be. Like, I don't know why people, yeah, they just don't. You have, like, the opposite of a resting bitch face. Now, I don't think that you guys are bitches, but I think, like, people just look at your... You might have, like, a baby face or whatever, and people are just like, oh, they're so sweet. And you're like, bitch, I'm not sweet. <laughs> but you actually are. But, you know, you know. So, yeah. There's definitely... You guys are definitely attractive, but with this reflection card, I feel like you guys really do change often. You're not comfortable just being 
the same you're not comfortable having the same viewpoint i feel like you guys also might be the type of person like people might think that you're like this person that i just want love i just want to be loved but you're like i'm bored of this guy so on to the next <laughs> for some of you for some of you it's like there's definitely this side of you that's like super you know fun but i don't know people think that like people really put assumptions onto you and they're always they're always proven wrong. Yeah, so I definitely feel you're like, you might be the type of person that you have no problem like going on adventure or you really do want to go on adventure. I feel, I also think you know how to protect your energy though you know how to walk away from things you really can see through people and see through things i feel like you are like you're just like people think that you're just like this really sweet person and then like five seconds later you're like confronting them or calling them out on their bullshit and it's like some people can't even argue with you because they're like damn i thought i didn't even know that you would respond to me yes bro lifting the veil there's so much veil here so it's like yeah you are always you enjoy i think you know this about yourself so you enjoy like just randomly cussing people out not really like that but you enjoy just like letting them know like yes bitch i'm not the one okay <laughs> not for all of you but like it's it might not be that exact energy but you are like you're not letting if you see someone doing something wrong like to another person you're gonna call them out like you will expose someone online like you don't care you don't care if someone's fake you know if you just you just can't sit around that type of energy you're not comfortable just sitting around that type of energy and just allowing people to be fake allowing people to be weird like you'll look them up and down and shit but yeah people assume that you're super passive and super like ah, but no no <laughs> i'm also feeling though there was something else there was something else yes you guys I, I don't know some of you guys you're like am i the drama i don't think you start drama but you definitely don't like fake bitches and like fake shit or like wrong stuff <laughs> i know that's uh, that sounds so weird but you don't like injustice and stuff like that and if you do see it you will cause this is like even in like family situations like if your auntie over here is trying to be like messy and talk about your gay cousin your ass is gonna be like, so didn't you fuck your bet? No, I'm sorry, that was too much. But I'm definitely picking up on your energy. It's like you're like like straight like that, but it's just funny. <laughs> I don't know if that has actually happened, but I just feel like like that's something that you would want to do, or you just like if you were in your most confident like space, that's what you would do. Oof, yeah, you have this energy where people definitely, people really love being around you. You're really fun. You're really cool. You know, you just have this really fun, chill vibe to you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is coming out. You're super smart too. Like, it's not just, like, you don't just have a nice face or whatever. You're pretty smart. I do believe some of you guys could have had financial issues that you definitely got out of or that you're planning on getting out of. This is definitely not for all of you because I do feel like some of you guys are like spoiled. But that's n some of you guys, regardless of like if you were spoiled or not, and regardless of if you were born um, not wealthy or <laughs> whether you were born wealthy. I'm sorry, I'm wording this weird. But regardless, it does not matter what your situation is. You you still are like a very hard worker and you're someone who's like i'm gonna make something out of this and you're just always learning and striving for more like you're you just yeah like this could be either you're just someone who like is smart and you might like to read and stuff like that or you're the type of person where it's like i want more money more streams of income more this or this could even be just spiritually but i feel like a lot of people are just shocked when you just like you just know random things or you're just like you know someone could be having a conversation and you can just interject and just say like oh yeah did you hear about that and it's like whoa you you know about that and it's like you can you're possibly the type of person that can talk in any conversation like you're able to just make small talk in any type of situation you know you know you know you know i also feel people they know you're just not satisfied with 
money or with relationships or like you want more so like you're just someone who's always striving for more within yourself but it's also like you know you're just not satisfied you're someone who's always you have to always be moving always doing something here's this one song where it's like always making moves man that's how i keep my sanity it's like you possibly would be bored as fuck too you don't like being bored <laughs> i'm definitely feeling especially with this rabid energy you don't like being bored like at all I also feel you might value your health. You might be someone who works out or someone who just is overly concerned with their health, even if you don't take the steps to actually like make sure your health is set. People are just like, yeah. But I'm yeah, I feel like when it comes to you, there's just a lot of reflection that you do and a lot of like, okay, time to do this, time to let this go, time to change this habit, time to do this. Yeah, we have autonomy, self-discipline, command, so this is also what I was just talking about with, like, food and stuff, but this is, like, having more confidence. Like, I feel like at one point this was not always you, and some people will definitely see you as someone who had to become strong and had to, like, start developing a stronger voice for themselves and stuff, and I feel that a lot of people, they th they value this, though, like, they 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 admire it because it's just someone who's self-made even if you were rich and born into a family or whatever like this could be where all of this like passivity that i'm seeing in this reading is coming from this could be who you once were in the past you could have been overly consumed with how can i please them or i just don't want to make anyone mad and now it's like you it's like after that it's like it's just me like you could have hidden this about yourself like you could have hidden your crazy opinions or the fact that like maybe you think someone's not attractive or maybe you think someone needs to shut the fuck up like in the past you weren't like the type of person that's going to be like shut the fuck up bitch like you're getting on my nerves because you were overly concerned with them and of course i don't think you're mean but you, you know like you just now say what's on your mind now not in the ways of which it's like just fucking rude like that you didn't have to say that like you're not like that but you know so yeah you're the type of person where you know that there's things that you're doing in your life that's possibly not right for you and your friends see you making efforts to change this this could be literally working out going like you know eating right or whatever but yeah you're not someone who's afraid of a challenge you're not someone who's afraid of challenging yourself challenging your viewpoints and your beliefs and yeah you're just not comfortable staying in one space i also feel when it comes to the people that you date and stuff like that you're just really open-minded and you're really just like you know you're really open-minded when it comes to just relationships and people but i'm also feeling with this it's like yeah you really wanted to step into your authentic truth like you some of you guys could have really spent like this is where i was getting like this sneaky or mysterious type of energy because some people might question what you're doing because <laughs> i feel like you might you might have isolated yourself spent time alone and like just literally became a new person created this new foundation has have all like now you have all this new fucking self-discipline and this new perspective and it's just like you've now allowed the version of you that is actually you to step forward is what i'm seeing and yeah it's like some people might try to try you because they think that you're still this passive person and they're sadly mistaken um yeah and i also feel like for you guys you will cut a motherfucker off you will cut family off you will call family out now like you're like problematic when it comes to your family for some of you guys um, and yeah, you've turned like, yeah, this is just someone who now has command, but it's like s someone who's so small or like small, but like they have like a big heart or they just have like big opinions or they just have like, they're going to say what's on like, you are very a commanding person. You command respect now, like you just command all of this stuff now and that used to not be the case. Yeah. So that's pretty much all that I'm seeing for you guys really powerful energy here you've really had to create this for yourself though and it's definitely powerful and there's more that you're creating too and everyone knows that it's going to happen for you like the people that are around you they know but i also feel like for some of you not everyone even knows what the fuck you're doing you know like most people they don't even know what's like going on with you like that with this veil stuff it's like you definitely keep things to yourself you move in silence so if you've made it this far into the reading and you actually enjoyed it comment uh, a butterfly i guess down below comment a butterfly or some sort of yeah butterfly <laughs> and yeah let me know what you think about the reading if you guys want to book a personal reading all that information is in the description box um 
And I guess that's it. That's it. Bye, guys. Last but not least, my pal number threes. Per. That was a bar. I'm obviously not a rapper, but I'm obviously doing really good. So let's get into it. Get into it, yeah. I just want to bump. Okay. Um, what do people like about my pile number three is give me a card rabbit maybe pile number two stuck out to you if not you know stay here then but anyway Ooh, mm, I love this vibe so far I'm loving this vibe some of you guys might wear glasses because you're blind as foot no I'm kidding that was a joke but shit maybe you literally might okay okay so interesting vibes unexpected vibes you guys definitely are unique for sure um some of you guys might be mysterious you might like to be by yourself you might like to work on your own you might like to just work on your own but i feel like you go you might go from thing to thing so you there might be a lot of like hobbies you have and just there's like possibly a lot of things that you're interested in obviously <laughs> if you have a lot of hobbies and shit but yeah i feel like for you guys for you guys i'm really getting just overall like a lot of uniqueness a lot of like dressing like eccentrically or just really just expressing yourself through makeup through dressing you might have a social media platform as well but i feel like you guys might be loners some of you guys might be loners. I feel like you're you're really seen in like the wrong light. Like people look at you and they're just like, I don't know, they, I don't know. It's like some people try not to see you for some reason. Like, I don't know, or maybe you don't want people to see you, but it seems like people just don't see you. They see like this shy person maybe. Not all of you are shy, but I think like you might just really be by yourself and like you don't like to say too much and you don't like to speak too much. And you just like to work on your shit and you just like to make money and you're just like leave me the hell alone i feel like some of you guys might be really overly anxious or just like somewhat paranoid and you just really don't fuck with people i'm feeling like there might be this vibe where it's like humans scare me or normal people scare me you guys are really strong and extremely capable too but yeah you guys might be the, the type of person that's like why don't you talk or like you know it's, you're just like nonchalant as shit you're like there's nothing to say like i don't know you're just like really like when you look at people you're just like looking at them and you're just like unless you know you can trust them you're not saying anything you're not telling them shit none of that i feel like this is really my cool group like you guys might really dress a certain way you might actually like to you might really be into fashion for some of you guys i'm getting like you could be even be a guy into fashion but like i'm definitely getting you guys you're just like really nonchalant and a lot of people view you as honestly cool but a lot of people really feel like they don't want to be bothered like they don't want to be fucked with anyway but i do think for some of you guys there is like this energy where it's like either you're, yeah it's just like this shy type of energy some people think you're shy it's nonchalant or shy or maybe both but yeah it seems like you might not like to do things that everyone else likes to do like when it comes to partying and stuff like you might like to paint or something like that like i'm just getting very artistic vibes from you guys yeah we literally have this card that says the signs are with you already like you can you just know how things are going to end with people or at least some of you guys might some of you this isn't for all of you but some of you guys might have a pessimistic mindset where you're just like it's going to be fucked up anyway. But yeah, I think you guys are just like always looking for signs. Always looking to see some weird shit. Always looking to predict something before it happens. You're just like, uh, I don't trust them. I don't trust you. I don't trust this situation. Like, yeah. Release your power. So a lot of you guys, you, you feel like honestly you know that you're superior or maybe i shouldn't say that but you feel like you're superior it's like you feel like you're walking you're walking amongst amongst fucking sheep and you're a lion like that's the vibe that i'm getting from you is it's like you i don't really think that you look down on people or anything like that but you're just like i know exactly who i am and what i'm capable of babes like that's the type of vibe that i get from you it's just like i don't got i don't have to say shit i don't have to prove anything to you i don't have to do any of that like you're just very grounded in yourself you're not too 
worried about impressing people. Like, you feel like you're meant to be a trendsetter. You, you feel like you're meant to be different. You're meant to be the one that people follow or that want to be impressed by you. So, yeah, I think people like this, though. And, yeah, look, this is even saying dress of alchemy. Like, I don't know, something definitely about clothes. You guys are definitely, like, my my style people. But people think, like, you have, like, you have dead eyes. Like, your eyes are just, like, you know, like, it's, like, you might be hot. You know, you might smoke a lot and stuff, but your eyes are just, like, they're kind of intimidating because it's, like, people can't get reactions out of you and shit. Some of you guys might wear sunglasses a lot. But, yeah, people can't get reactions out of you how they want to. Yeah, you guys really like being alone. Some of you guys really might resonate with one of the other piles. If you felt kind of called to another pile, you know, you should try. But, um... Yeah. Whoa! You guys have the same cards as one. As pile one. That's so weird. I kind of want to reshuffle, but I just want to get you guys a different card. Just because I want to see some more of these cards anyway. I don't use this deck that often. And I want to see more of them. Okay, so... Now, I don't think you guys are witches, because some of you guys, if you hear that, you're going to run away. Like, there's definitely some kind of religious people here, or some people who are just, like, not with the sh that type of shit. <laughs> but I definitely think you're a witch, whether you're aware of it or not. Not really, but, like, by definition, you're over here creating a life for yourself. You're over here trying to manifest things for yourself. You're over here creating whole plans, praying about it or writing it down like you are so fucking fixated and focused on your own goals like nobody is stopping you type especially with this spider that i'm seeing too spiders weave beautiful webs and i think you guys are very patient with your shit like you just have this like confidence within yourself you're very patient with your craft you're very patient with like the outcome of the situation like you know that you're good like, it's just a matter of time type B, like, for you. Like, you literally feel like it's just a matter of time until y'all see exactly who I am. It's just a matter of time until y'all are fucking kissing the fucking ground that I walk on. I don't really think that you guys are egoic like that and you have, like... But I definitely feel like there's this vibe that you feel... You feel this way about the people that have done you wrong. Because for some of you guys, you could have been pushed into this type of situation where you have to be. Um where you have to be powerful, where you have to have been strong. And there could have been some people that could have, that should have supported you that didn't. And you're like, wait till I fucking show your little bitch ass, <laughs> which I relate, obviously. So yeah, Aries, definitely hella fiery energy. You guys are like, bruh, it's just like, you're just staying down till you come up and you're really smart and you have like it's like people might really try you and it's like you don't even know like i'm li like you guys are like this vibe where like i'm acting cool like i'm being cool right now like you don't know who i could really just beat your ass right now or not really but like some of you guys because there's people in here that's like no violence like some of you guys are like i don't act like that so please but there's definitely some of you that act like that and there's definitely some of you that are just like i know exactly who i am i'm really confident and it's like people might try you to your face but you guys aren't scared of anyone like you're not scared of anyone no one can scare you <laughs> Uh, decay is coming out too so I feel like you're the type of person that like you just allow things to die like you're just you have this very like whatever happens happens vibe like you really don't care too much I guess I can say apathy you guys might be hella apathetic but this is kind of like it's like this you know what you're doing with this apathy you know you don't hold on to anything like you could have had this life where just a lot of things have happened to you and a lot of things have been like it's like nothing ever lasts. Kind of a pessimistic vibe a little bit, but it's like you're kind of just like nothing ever lasts. So I'm not going to like expect it and I'm not going to hold on to it. It's like if you you can like you're just in the now, like you're kind of always in the now. And it's like when things die, you're willing to let go of them and allow that transition to happen. But I also feel like you're the type of person that's just you have this very artistic and like poetic way of like being. If that's not like. I'm, I'm wording that weird but like this very artistic poetic way of just being like the way you view life is just very poetic and like you might apply this to your art or apply it to your fashion or you just have this very um philosophical way of like thinking and being and I think a lot of people like this 
I know I'm wording that so weird. Like, some people are like, you're just putting words around. I'm sorry. I just, it's hard for me to fully explain it. Because it's like, how can you have a poetic way of be, be, or a philosophical way of being? But I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to explain. So if, if you know, then you know. Okay? If you know, you know. I don't know how to explain it. So let's see. Yeah, you guys are like very er like you might be spiritual in the ways and like people don't even expect you to be spiritual but i also feel like you kind of like you trust god you trust the universe and that's that's your family like you guys might not you might be the type of people that you don't really have a strong foundation with your family or a strong relationship with them for some of you guys you might feel like you're a lone wolf or whatever um but like if you're fully capable and you kind of prefer it that way so again, y'all, I know it seems like I'm just describing you, but these are just the things that other people, they look at you and they see this, okay? This is like, they see it and they like this about you. So, yeah, I feel like this works for you, though. Like, you've never had anything where it's like, oh, I have, like, my soul, like, I've asked God for help and it's never failed you. So there's some people who are like, how is this person like, like getting all of this and getting all of this? And it's like because of God, but it's also because of you and because of how dedicated you are to yourself. Like I get like the vibes from you. You might either admire Kanye or you just have the same type of energy as Kanye low key, where it's like staying down till you come up, working on your shit, working hella hard and not letting anybody fucking stop you, not letting anybody come in and try to low key distract you, distract God. <laughs> but yeah, that's the vibe that I'm getting from you is like kind of like um you're just very determined and focused and I feel like you just don't fuck with people because all they've done is cause some problems for you and now you're just like money and my dreams th that's never going to hurt me. Money and my dreams they're never going to hurt me. Yeah, you guys have just such a fucking powerful energy, dude. Like high priestess has come out multiple times and we have well it didn't come out multiple times. The High Priestess did come out, but I'm also seeing Witch and then this Alchemy card and then Release Your Power. Like, bruh, you are hella powerful and you know this shit. And it's like this silent confidence about you. Like, you just step into a room and it's like, you don't have to say too much. Like, actually, like this group, it's like, I don't have to say shit. You look at me. Look at the drip. <laughs> look at my fucking neck. Look at my wrist bro like that's the type of vibe that i get from y'all it's like it, the fucking vibe speaks for itself babes like i that's just what i get from you it's like you just have this real silent confidence bro you don't have to come in here and be like oh my god look at me and blah, blah, blah. you're like yes i know you're looking at me even though a lot of you guys don't want people to look at you you're like i, I like some of you guys literally hide yourself away but you you know that if, if you step into a room like you're just dropping jaws and draws no i'm kidding i'm kidding I'm joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, but yeah, people love you. Oh, well, two cards came out, and I only wanted one, so I'm putting. I'm taking that as a sign to put both of them back. But yeah, you're very chill. Some of you guys might have like this gothic type of vibe, or like some people think that you're just like gothic or whatever the case is, or at least you might not be gothic, but you have this gothic type of energy where it's just like you have like dead eyes and. You might wear black but yeah i do feel there's a sense of like some people you might not really like especially if you're a guy because i am kind of picking up on a guy's energy in this reading so there's possibly a few guys watching this but it's okay because i definitely know there's feminine energies watching this too but like there's like this not a whole bunch of like toxic masculinity that i'm seeing or at least it's kind of like a like you might not really like to be around guys but i'm also feeling like you might there's might be this energy where you don't really date a lot of people and you're not around a lot of masculine energy like for some reason i'm picking that up and that's how i'm interpreting this card for some reason but i'm also feeling like you know you guys might not have full-on stability right now but it, that doesn't matter like you just have this blind faith and also just the strength to accomplish this and it's like some people might think that you're delusional but whatever you're doing it's like it's up in the air you know whatever happens happens but i think it's gonna work for you because you're alchemizing your life um so yeah a lot of people though you just have this energy where you're not gonna argue with people of course if push comes to shove 
you will but it's like you're not putting yourself in this in those situations where you have to argue with people where you have to like fight your beliefs and shit like it's I, you're like i said what i said bitch and i'm not arguing like i'm literally just getting like this like i just see this person in my brain and i'm definitely picking up on you guys's energy but yeah you're just kind of like that um you're you have no problem walking away you have no problem quitting something you have no problem quitting a job child you have no problem even if it's something you're doing you're like if it's not working for me on to the next like i'm not gonna waste my time like you're very like yeah th this death card this literally says decay like you allow things to die and you're just always able to move on and it always works out for you i feel like you're someone who likes to travel a lot or at least you like to be outside and go try new pl places and new foods and new things even if you're by yourself especially if you're by yourself yeah i feel like when it comes to if if there's an investment if something is taking more energy than it's giving you if it's like taking from your like if it's possibly giving you money but it's taking from your energy like you're very picky about what you invest in and who you invest in i do believe some people think that you're not really happy but it's like there's this energy of you striving for your happiness regardless though um people like the fact that you're not just going to invest in any and everything you're not going to just like you have standards for yourself and you will rather be alone than put up with people i feel like there could have been people that tried you before people that tested your boundaries and your limits and as soon as those limits started being tested and pushed you just walked away and i definitely believe that there are some people from the past that really like this about you and that really that now they're just like damn but it also causes more respect you know it seems like a lot of these people have a lot more respect for you but you're just someone who you know you don't you've never even had to ask for respect people just look at you and they kind of give you re your respect because your face kind of commands it but i'm also kind of getting this energy where some of you guys and this isn't for all of you but some of you guys might just look really good like if i'm being real you might just look really good and you might just look intimidating where it's like people want to know who you are and people just want to kiss your ass low-key um but a lot of you guys you don't like give people react like even if you find if people are kissing your ass. so even if people are trying so hard to kiss your ass and just you know just trying to be all up in your space you still aren't like super receptive and like you might say thank you or whatever but you're not going to engage in a conversation like people might come to you and they're like oh my god hi and i just want to oh my god i love your outfit and, da -da -da, and you're like thank you and they're expecting for you to say something else or for there to be more but you're kind of just like please leave me alone i do believe that yeah some people look at you and they assume that you're not happy but they also assume that you're striving for more happiness and you want more for yourself so let's see yeah we have agility intuition protection yeah you're definitely highly protected you might actually have people that would fight for you or people that like you might be like this type of shy person or this person that stays to themselves and it's like if you have conflict there's gonna be people that are like why the fuck does this person have conflict who's fucking with them because they don't do anything to anybody so what's going on like you know that type of vibe um i really feel that you're very protected spiritually but also like you value making sure you're protected when it comes to you know friendships and relationships you ask important questions you are very confrontational in those types of relationships if something's off you peep it you confront it if some if it doesn't change then you cut the person off you know and you're able to do so and you don't really care but yeah you see through people and you just have these like hella intense eyes these this like these eyes that can see through people and absolutely read the entire freaking room like ciao so yeah direction fearlessness communication yeah you're not you're pretty fearless i do believe like there's this energy of I don't, there's like in the beginning i interpret it as anxiety but i feel like that's how some people view you they believe that you're anxious but i'm also seeing like with this energy you're very like you're very there's like this um like it's not anxiety it's more so carefulness it's more so just wanting to make sure everything's okay wanting to make sure you're doing the right thing like you're a person of like they like you make sure whatever you're doing has uh what's the words that i'm looking for god damn whatever you're putting out there on the world you want to make sure it's of quality type and yeah you have a very clear direction and you're not going to allow anybody to come into your life and sh and steer you off of your direction yeah 
so that's the overall energy that i get very powerful vibes from you guys um yeah i hope this resonated comment down below comment a bat down below just because you know bats are cute comment a bat or a spider down below if this resonated for you if you've made it until the end i appreciate you so much for making it until the end make sure to like the video please it helps me out a lot and subscribe i appreciate it it shows me what you guys are thinking and feeling about the videos if you comment down below and like the video and like let me know your opinion if there's any other types of videos you guys would like me to to out there let me know comment down below bye